We are now two months into the iOS 11 developer beta updates. This is version 5 and it could be the game changer. Quick clarification before I begin, whenever I update my iPhone 7, I'm updating the iOS 11 developer beta, that's on version 5. We also have the iOS 11 public beta, which now is on version 3, and that's a much bigger download, thanks to the visor underscore YT uh, for pointing out this difference, so I'm not sure if all the changes you will see in this video apply to the public beta, but the good news is that we're all going to catch up to the same version of iOS 11 when it eventually releases. Okay, let's now get into some screen recording action. In terms of functionality, there doesn't seem to be anything new that's been added. The control center still looks exactly the same. If I bring up screen recording from the control center, long pressing it, we have the same option to turn the microphone on and off, and that's it. And you also have the same countdown when you start a recording, which someone pointed out is actually a good thing because it means you wouldn't have loads of thumbnails in your photo gallery of the control center, which is a good point. One slight change is that the record bar now is red at the top instead of blue previously, and if you tap on the bar, it still gives you the option to stop the recording. So nothing generally new there except for a change in color. Now at the top, you can see the notification it tells me that the screen recording has completed and it still works for me. Unfortunately, I still don't have any clue as to why for some devices it simply doesn't do a recording at all and doesn't save. Uh, so if anybody has been suffering from this problem and this update fixes it, do let me know and I'll certainly pin that comment. However, the one thing I can test and affects everybody on iOS 11 beta at the moment is screen recording in landscape where it rotates the image around and squashes it into portrait. Has that been fixed? That has been the big blocker pretty much for everyone. Let's give that a test. I am going to do a screen recording as usual on Geometry Dash, which is perfect as a landscape exercise. We'll bring up the control center and I'm not gonna do my fix method here. I'm just trying to record it as I would want to. Start the record button and usually what would happen now is that the orientation will be all wrong. So I'm going to play the game for a very short amount of time just to get some coverage here. And the screen would write itself when adverts came up and system options, but we want it to look right all the time. I think that's enough of a recording for now. So we will stop it and we should be able to go to the screen recording directly. And this is what we just recorded at 19 seconds. And the news looks good already because it is in landscape already. If I press play, it doesn't seem to be readjusting itself at all. We'll wait for me to press play. There we are onto the map. Everything is still in landscape. And I think finally Apple have got around to fixing this orientation problem. Boom. Now I thought it'd be a good idea to do a second test. This is Pew Pew, a landscape shooter which got all squashed up as well. And also you can hear the internal sounds and see how good the sync is with the video. So all looks perfect with internal audio. Let's try the microphone. Will the game system sounds drown out my voice, which is what happened in the past. As you can see, the volume is really low. So we're going to compare it and see if you can hear it well. Hopefully you should be able to hear my words as I begin the game. And then I'm going to put the volume up to see how much external noises we get when I'm touching the device. So when the system sounds were low, you could hear my voice. They're a lot higher now and the audio video sync is absolutely perfect. One strange thing is you can't hear the music and that was the same when you used to record through the microphone on Airshow and Evercord. So maybe one tiny bug still left there, but otherwise very good news. Now, when I did a bit more editing on this section of the video, I noticed something very interesting. Listen to the same video when I play it directly through the iPhone through the photo gallery. So, all looks perfect with internal audio. Let's try the microphone. Will the game system sounds drown out my voice? As you could hear there, the volume level was a lot different. My voice was being drowned out by these system sounds. So I think there are two different channels of audio going on, and depending what 
video player you put it through or what editor depends on what audio you get back. Because if I put this through iMovie, listen to this. So here you can't hear my voice at all. This has been a bug that's mentioned before, so it still persists. And for those of you wanting to know if Airshow 061 might be working again after iOS Beta 4, the answer, I'm afraid, is no. Nothing there, and I don't think Airshow is coming back anytime soon. It is dead as far as iOS 11 is concerned. So I think we have great grounds for optimism. It's like the turning point. Apple have nailed down two things. First of all, audio video sync seems nigh on perfect, and fingers crossed, orientation issues will no longer be a problem. I say fingers crossed because I can't test it on an iPad. Let me know if you've got an iPad and you had the problem and it's now fixed. I'd really like to know. Appreciate the responses if you do so. There are still problems with the audio issues whereby if you do a microphone recording, it still doesn't seem to have the microphone recording from your voice in certain editors and playback. And there are one or two other niggles. And of course, there's not much functionality yet other than to record your screen. And will you have the ability to broadcast? All of these things we still have to wait for. And there's still about a month, six weeks, maybe two months to go before iOS 11 is finally released. But yeah, things are starting to look up. Should you upgrade to iOS beta? Still not yet. Still wait. Use Airshow on 10.3.3 or below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more iOS screen recording coverage just like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. And of course, Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. If you smell what the rock is cooking.